The Islamic Republic possesses an entire arsenal of domestically developed tactical, short, medium and long-range ballistic and cruise missiles. Iran's adversaries regularly prove the importance these weapons have in preserving regional strategic stability, with tensions escalating recently, amid a U.S. push to ramp up its presence in the Gulf. Iranian military scientists have reportedly obtained the technical capabilities to manufacture a new, highly advanced class of ramjet-powered cruise missile. The mystery missile, said to be part of a new generation of Iranian naval cruise missiles, is reportedly undergoing testing, with local media expecting it to open a new chapter in Iran's defense technologies and complicate enemy efforts to intercept Iranian retaliatory strikes in the event of conflict. The new missile employs a ramjet and advanced air-breathing engine which typically has no major moving parts, and which uses the projectile's forward motion to suck in air for combustion to create thrust. Up to now, only a handful of nations around the world including Russia, China, India and the United States were known to possess ramjet technology, with the tech enabling a new class of hypersonic glide vehicles to accelerate to incredible speeds too great to be able to stop using any existing or prospective air or missile defense systems. The employment of ramjet engines in the naval cruise missiles and development of supersonic cruise missiles will greatly enhance Iran's response power in case of any military conflict and prevent the invading forces from showing timely reaction, the Iranian media report on the new missile stated. Wednesday's report comes just two months following Iran's unveiling of a new hypersonic missile known as the FATA. Like scramjet tech, hypersonic missile technology is possessed by only a handful of countries, including Russia, China, and possibly North Korea. The United States set to work on about half a dozen different hypersonic missile programs for various branches of the military in the 2010s, but to date, none have yet to deliver a working missile. Iran-U.S. tensions have escalated dramatically in recent weeks amid the U.S. deployment of additional warplanes, Navy warships and Marines to the Persian Gulf purportedly to counter Iran's harassment and seizure of merchant vessels. On August 4, U.S. officials told U.S. media that the Pentagon was considering putting armed personnel on commercial ships traveling through the Strait of Hormuz, a move which experts have said could thrust the two countries into a major war. Ensuring the safety of the water routes across the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman is one of Iran's priorities. This issue must be addressed in joint cooperation between the countries bordering the Gulf, Iranian Foreign Ministry spokesman Nasser Kanani said this week, amid the continuing U.S. military buildup. Tehran has repeatedly urged regional nations to band together to protect the strategic waterway and decried the presence of outsiders like the United States in and around Gulf waters. Iran has denied any wrongdoing when it comes to the seizure of commercial waters traveling through its waters, but has cracked down on vessels attempting to engage in oil smuggling and detain ships responsible for maritime accidents with small Iranian fishing vessels.